how to remove the background from an image. Hello there. We have an image here opened in the Adobe Photoshop CS6. We are going to see how to remove the background of this image and replace with another background. There's one thing you may want to keep in mind. In this image, we have hair to separate as well, which is the challenging bit of this work. Before I start, I want to make sure I make a duplicate of this layer. You can do this by using the shortcut keys, Ctrl plus J, or right click on this current layer, and select duplicate layer, and press OK. Now from the toolbox, we want to select the quick selection tool. With this quick selection tool, we now need to select the area of our object that we want to separate from its background. While selecting the object, obviously our selected area might not get to the exact shape of our object. In that case, we can keep hold on the Alter button and adjust the selection area. Once the selection area is decided, we want to select the Refine Selection Edge from here. Once clicked, you will see a dialog box popping up where you will see the view option under the view mode. If you click on the arrow here, you will see few modes available to choose the background from. We are going to go with the on white mode to keep the background as white. Now under the edge detection option, you will see there is radius option directly below the view mode. This, as they say, is where the magic happens. To add more of the hair to your selection, click on the radius slider and begin dragging it towards the right end to make it 250 pixels and select the smart radius. With smart radius enabled, Photoshop looks more closely along the edge of the initial selection and tries to tighten up the radius size wherever possible. On here, you have decontaminate colors, enabling which will stop a lot of the colors from the original image coming across to your original selection. So we are going to put that on to the full. Now you will see there is a lot of the colors from the original image still remaining on here. So we are going to use the Refine Radius tool and start painting on the places still having the colors from the original image. As you can see, it removes the background and not the hair. We're going to press OK now. Now we want to take a new background and to do that we want to create a new layer and bring the layer below the top layer. Now we want to go to File and select Place and choose a background image. We want to use it as and click Place. You'll see the background is placed, but now by dragging the border of the background, we will right position the background image. We can still see there is some part of the hair not matching with the rest of the hair color. So for that, we will grab the burn tool from the toolbox 
and if scrub on those area it will darken those white area matching with the hair color So that was the lesson about removing the background from an image. Thank you.